Hi guys, Computer here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the discussion of Android and web services, we started with threads, moved on to OK HTTP library and then we discussed retrofit and finally in the previous video we ended with Wally. Now the obvious question is which one to use among these four different approaches of doing API integration. Well, I had used thread only to demonstrate the idea. So nobody uses thread. You can use OK HTTP. OK HTTP is just a HTTP client. There are many other libraries which use OK HTTP to build on top of that and provide a little bit more nuanced experience as far as API integration is concerned. And retrofit is just one among them. So for all our discussion to really compare which one is a better option as far as API integration is concerned, we can even ignore OK HTTP and just keep retrofit and Wally to do the comparison. Well, if we get started with the very basic stuff that is who maintains these libraries, then retrofit, it is pretty obvious, is maintained by Square. Wally was initially a library by some third party, but right now it is being maintained by the Google and it is very well supported by the Google. So you can be pretty sure that they will be doing a pretty good job to make sure that this library is always up to speed as far as Android development is concerned. Next criteria is coding complexity. You have seen how we have done it in Retrofit and Wally. One thing that you will definitely understand is it is pretty easy to set up Retrofit. The amount of code that you may have to write to set up the Retrofit in your Android application to do an API integration is pretty simple compared to Wally where you have to do a little bit of boilerplate code to get things going. The next criteria is performance. Wally is quick but Retrofit is quicker. Right now this is the best library in terms of the performance. Uh, how quickly you can parse the responses, how quickly you can download the images. If you consider all those aspects, Retrofit beats Wally any day. Even though it looks like Retrofit is winning most of these points, let's just hold back and see the remaining aspects. The next criteria is caching support. You have seen how we have done it in Wally and it has got quite a elaborate support for caching of the responses. But in case of retrofit, modified OK HTTP has to be used to create a caching support for retrofit. So it doesn't come natively out of the box in case of retrofit as is the case with Wally. Moving forward, image operations, basically downloading the images, uploading the images, caching the images. This is one of the very common and most complex operation as far as API integrations in Android are concerned. And once again, Wally does a pretty good job out of it because pretty much everything is provided natively by Wally. But in case of retrofit, that is not the case. You have to use a, another library called as Picasso to do most of these operations. So in that way, Wally is a one single stop, but that might not be the case with retrofit. And probably the last but not the least, which is retry policy. Retry policy is basically sometimes when the network is not operating in an optimum way, how often you want to hit the backend so that you can once again fetch the responses from the backend, making sure that you don't enter into any unstable state. You can set it up very easily in case of Wally. It natively supports how often the API calls need to be retried or backed off from being tried again. But that is not the case with retrofit. You can do it, but there is a very roundabout convoluted way of implementing the retry policy in case of OK HTTP based retrofit library. But that is not the case with Wally. In Wally, it is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just invoke a method which is part of the Wally library to set up the retry policy. Of course, there are many more small differences between retrofit and Wally. But broadly speaking, these are the 
major differences between retrofit and volley and it is up to you to use whichever that you feel that you are comfortable with or whatever the library that your team uses but personally speaking retrofit and volley are equally good libraries both of them can be used both of them can solve same problems that is api integration without much fuss so with this i end the discussion about api integration in android applications and in the next video i will meet you with the new topic in android application development that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye